Now before we begin, I need to make absolutely clear, this video is going to act as a supplemental video to my triple screen setup video for Automobilista 2. So if you haven't watched that already, there's going to be a button at the top of this window that you're going to need to click, watch that video in its entirety, and then come back and watch this one for the extra bit of information. Now, in the comments section of that video, a lot of you have been asking what cockpit camera settings do you use? Now, I felt it was pretty intuitive at the time, but obviously it needs further explanation. So, this is the video. We go into a brief explanation, a little bit of a calculation, and then finally how to input those straight into Automobilista 2. Easy peasy, let's go. To calculate the setting for camera FOV, we're going to be needing to use the FOV we calculated overall for our triple screens in the previous video. In my case, this is represented by the green line and my FOV is 180 degrees, be that my eyes are in line with the edges of the monitor. Then we're simply going to divide the FOV up equally between the three monitors, and if we've set things up correctly, this should be equal throughout, which means X is the same for each screen's FOV. To calculate the individual FOV, or X, we simply divide our total FOV, in this case 180, divide that by three, because we have three monitors, and this will give us 60 degrees. Let's look at an example of what that looks like when it's completed. As we can see here, this is an example of a 60 degree camera FOV with the correct 180 degree FOV overall triple screen settings. And as you can see, all things look nicely in proportion. Let's look at an example of two extremes of the spectrum where things have been miscalculated to demonstrate that this is accurate. In this hypothetical example, the camera is kept in exactly the same position, but the calculation has been made as if we've shifted the seat back, essentially narrowing the FOV. In this case, we've made it 105 degrees. Now you'll notice when we want to divide this by three in order to compensate, the total FOV has to be 35 degrees per monitor, essentially making things look bigger. Now, if you do this from the seating position, which we are supposed to be in, things will appear closer and your sensor speed will be increased. However, this isn't the correct calculation. Here we take this rather silly example and hypothetically shift our head in front of the triple screen setup and somehow create a 360 degree field of view, therefore creating a camera FOV of 120 degrees per screen. We will then see that we create this time tunnel type effect, which is completely unusable. Don't use this. The moment we've all been waiting for, let's see how to input this data into Automobilista 2 and then finally how to tweak our seating position without affecting the FOV. Here you just want to boot up a race session and then get onto track, press escape, head into options, and then head into camera settings. Here you simply head to the cockpit camera, which is the one we should be using, and simply adjust this to the value that we've just calculated. In my case, 60 degrees. You'll also notice that my FOV speed sensitivity is set to no, because we don't want that to change when we're driving. If you want to adjust some things for movement, these are my settings, and these are very subjective, so I don't like any head movement, legacy head movement is off, I don't like any lateral g-force effects, and this is personal preference, I like just a little bit of longitudinal g-force effect and vertical g-force effect. However, some people won't like this, feel free to turn this off and tweak this to your own specifications. The last thing we want to be able to tweak is our seating position without compromising our FOV calculation. To do this, simply hit escape, head to options, head to cockpit configuration, and then you're met by the seating adjustment menu. Here we can adjust our seat up, down, forwards, or backwards, tweak to however you like it, and then simply head back into the simulator and all things are nicely set up. So there you have it. Hopefully cockpit camera settings are now demystified and Automobilista 2 is still singing sweetly. If you found value in this, please hit the like button, consider hitting that subscribe button, and remember, FOV is not a question of subjectivity, it's a mathematical calculation. Come find me in the comments. Rawr.